welcome back to Panero's mind people. Now we have to overstand that Sodom and Gomorrah was burnt down for his crazy antics, idolatry and sexual perversions, right? But we have to also understand that the time we live in now, this whole world is like a Sodom and Gomorrah. So what does that mean for us as a people? Let's take a look at some of the antics that have been happening lately. Uh, check this out. A debate is heating up over whether or not Texas children should be allowed in drag events. It comes after Dallas Bar Mr. Mr. promoted their Saturday afternoon event at, as a family-friendly version of their shows and appropriate for kids of all ages. Children were invited to walk down the, the walkway and dance on stage with performers. The organizers said it was meant to promote inclusion and fun. This is so crazy, it's hard not to think uh, I don't know what to think of this. What are we, what are we watching? I mean, uh, I, I'm old enough to remember when drag queen story hours were the things that we were outraged at because that's so clearly inappropriate. In this case, you've got a neon pink sign as a backdrop declaring it's not going to lick itself as adult drag performers are dancing and lip syncing and even collecting dollar bills from young kids as their parents were sipping on their drinks, having a good time. A bookstore owner in Port Ritchie who has hosted drag queen story hours says it's legislating hatred. Absolutely insane video. Back to you, Tucker. Yeah, just don't get kids involved, obviously. Now, a couple of things they missed out um, was that the kids were actually given $1 bills to be throwing at these transsexuals. You know, as you can see in the footage, this poor child here looks like he doesn't even want to be nowhere near this uh, drag queen, you know what I mean? And um, also the child was wearing a rainbow T-shirt you know, I'm actually kind of happy that they uh, airbrushed his face out. Cause that's not even fair on the child for the child's future. Who knows if the child actually wants to be a homosexual, you know? Um, the parents, I don't know why anyone would ever want to um, take their child to this type of event. But to me, it looks like some type of grooming. This is a different type of grooming, you know? I don't, and I don't care what people want to say, you know? This is grooming children. Not feeling that they're grooming the child to be a homosexual. It's not really fair on the children. What are you gonna be doing? Like taking the child home and making him wear your heels? That's grooming too. If you keep making them do things in a, in a feminine manner, that's a different type of grooming altogether. There's a lot of grooming going on in the world, but this is definitely a problem, I feel. Titled to my own opinion. What age are you allowed to go to a strip club? Think about that, people. But they got kids frying $1 bills. Now, we have to remember that we live in a time where gay couples can go and get a child, you know? Or they can make somebody else have the child and adopt the child. So is it a situation of that, where they want the child to be gay too? It could be. But there's something definitely going on there because I know for a fact, normal couples, yeah, they, they're not allowing any of that. So this is a whole agenda in itself, yeah. Um, but check out this next footage, man. Uh, the people in the car park, they weren't really too happy about it. And, and, and good for them, they're entitled to own opinion too. Check this out. Disgusting. I need you to hey, get the fuck away. You don't think that's disgusting? Go on. You don't think that's disgusting? Pause. When I first saw this footage, I thought that was Xerxes from 300. Be ashamed of yourself dancing for little children. You should be ashamed of yourself. People, wait. There's more. Check this out. I had uh, this story from North Carolina where a preschool, James, uses these flashcards, so these things you kind of hold up like this. There we go. Yeah. And uh, they feature a pregnant man as a way of teaching little children about LGB blah, 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 James. Well, I mean, if they've got the iPhone, they've already got the pregnant man emoji with that. But yeah, again, this is, you know, the revolution does not sleep, it does not quit, and they will find every single avenue in to undermine anything that smacks of a traditional 
way of looking at the world. Oh, yeah, traditionally, like, oh, oh women wars, can't stop women fighting can't, the culture wars get pregnant. Yeah. yeah, so pushing this insanity isn't a culture war, no. but <laughs> say, wait a second, this isn't a good That's idea. That's a culture That's war. A culture culture war. war. Yeah. But, you know, this, is, this isn't even primary school. So we've seen it in high school, we've seen it in primary school. Isn't it? This is preschool. So these are children being taught colours. So these flashcards were actually used to teach uh, toddlers and, and very young kids about different colours and the images they used included a pregnant man. I mean, really, it's... You, you've got to... You can't laugh at this stuff because this is... Uh, it's an agenda and it's being pursued it is relentlessly. An agenda and it keeps getting darker. Now, let's talk quickly about the US Marines' pride bullets. <laughs> no. Oh, look at yeah, that. Yeah, James. Well, I mean, this is just absolutely amazing to me because what they've done is they've basically appropriated the full metal jacket recruiting, uh, uh, sorry, movie poster uh, from that Kubrick Vietnam war film, anti-war film, uh, to promote the U.S. Marines and pride. The Washington Post, the newspaper of record in the capital city of the land of the free, let's just remember that, has suspended one of its journalists for one month without pay just for retweeting a Twitter post which said something to the effect of all women are bi, you just have to figure out whether it's polar or sexual. That's not funny. That's not funny if anyone was watching. But David Wigger landed in hot water after his colleague drew attention to the fact that he had retweeted, not tweeted, just retweeted this joke from YouTuber Cam Harless. And keep in mind, you can flash your junk on the ABC and nothing happens, <laughs> but you retweet a YouTuber at the Washington Post and you're gone for a month. Your buddy's laughing at the table, but he's saying a funny situation. Like man said earlier, traditional way of thinking is kind of gone in this new world. It's been reshaped, but reshaped for whose purpose? You know what I mean? Like, whose purpose? And think about it, use your common sense. Whose ways? Get close to God, people. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.